Okay, so these are Mexican honey wasps uh, that have been found in Texas for the last 50 years or so. So they've come up from Mexico. Um, and they're the only wasps that make honey on a large scale, like a honeybee. So most other wasps have a little drop of honey in their nest, but these things have huge honeycombs. And in Mexico, they collect them and eat them and things. So for us, they're really interesting because they're really distant relatives of the honeybee. Um, so genetically, they're very different but they do exactly the same behavior and we want to know if it's the same genes that control the behavior in, in both species. So that means that uh, in the end when we're developing pesticides that are going to uh, be friendly to honeybees, they're not going to uh, cause colony collapse disorder, they're not going to um, cause problems with honeybee behavior, we don't have to test them on every pollinator. If we know that these the genes are the same in these uh, as are in honeybees, that means probably in all pollinators they're going to be pretty similar. So that's why we're interested in these and that's why we're going to collect a bit of their RNA today. And this is one of the bigger nests that you've seen, huh? Yeah, this is probably the, yeah, just about the biggest nest I've seen. So this one's probably about two or three years old. They normally last for about three years. So what are you going to do here? Uh, today we're going to um, collect, we want to collect the queens from inside the nest. So they're right in the center. Um, so what we're going to do is very quickly, we want to make a hole um, take out a bit of the comb and then suck out a few wasps from the center. Then we're going to put them straight into liquid nitrogen so they're killed straight away uh, so their DNA and RNA doesn't start to degrade. Uh, and then we're going to take them back to the lab for, an, uh, for analysis.